scientists have detected gravitational waves from the collision of supermassive black holes, and it turns out they're everywhere. I talked a little bit about nanograv and gravitational waves on yesterday's video. If you want to know what gravitational waves are and why pulsars can be used to detect them, check it out. Basically, scientists have been looking at pulsars, which are rapidly spinning dense neutron stars, to detect low-frequency gravitational waves. These occur when massive objects, like supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies, orbit each other and collide. Remember, low frequency actually means a longer wavelength. We're talking months or even decades Decades, unlike high-frequency gravitational waves from small black hole collisions that LIGO can detect. These pulsars create a galaxy-sized gravitational wave detector, and scientists have 15 years' worth of data from 68 pulsars to come through. What they found is not one low-frequency gravitational wave. They found that the galaxy's background noise is gravitational waves. There are so many that scientists can't distinguish them, and their wavelengths are light years long. Where are these gravitational waves coming from? Well, when galaxies merge and collide, it's not the fiery explosion you probably picture in your mind. There's so much empty space between stars, planetary systems, gas and dust, and galaxies that these are actually pretty tame events. That is, until the supermassive black holes at their cores begin to interact. As two supermassive black holes move close to one another, they begin to slowly orbit one another in a galactic dance of death. These orbits, and eventual collision, are what produce ripples in the fabric of space-time, or gravitational waves. The background hum that scientists are detecting is from thousands of pairs of orbiting and colliding supermassive black holes. So now we know that there are a lot of low-frequency gravitational waves. Let's get to why does it matter? This gives us insight into the characteristics of supermassive black hole collisions. Understanding what happens when galaxies merge and their galactic centers collide is crucial to figuring out the ins and outs of galaxy formation, which we don't currently know a lot about. Scientists are always on the lookout for colliding supermassive black holes, but because we can't directly study them, we don't really know when they're happening. We can't just look through a telescope and see two black holes ramming into one another. This gives us a new way to study supermassive black holes and observe the universe in general. Additionally, the results so far are consistent with what we'd expect from Einstein's theory of general relativity. This is important because it's always good to confirm that the universe works how we think it should work. 